Hello, Serious Survivor here, and today we're going to continue a gas mask series and we're going to look at one of the most recognizable and widely used military gas masks on the market, and that's the Avon FM or M50. Now, there's a variant of this mask, the M51, that we'll also briefly discuss. Avon Protection Systems has been a leader in the development and manufacturing of respiratory protection products for use in CBRN environments and applications for a number of years. The M50 JSGPM, or Joint Services General Purpose Mask, was selected by the U.S. Department of Defense to replace existing respiratory protective masks used by several branches of the military. The M50 does provide outstanding protection from battlefield concentrations of CB agents, toxic industrial materials, particulate matter, toxic chemicals, smoke, and more. The M50 streamlined design offers unique twin filters for low breathing resistance and reduced burden. It's excellent at weapons integration and has a very balanced weight distribution. Now the M51 variant has been specifically designed for combat vehicle operators and it consists of the M50 mask in conjunction with a CVC hood for head and neck protection and this is constructed from Gore Kimpak technology. A communication lead and a hose to integrate with vehicle blowers and cold pro systems. The airflow management system offers extremely low inhalation resistance a very low rebreathed carbon dioxide, which comes from if you exhale too fast, faster than the mask is capable of allowing the exhale to flow, then some of that carbon dioxide will be trapped in your mask and you will rebreathe it back in. And this mask also offers excellent demist properties and the heat buildup has been minimized. It's generally available in three sizes and the chloral butyl rubber silicone blend gives the mask a very high degree of flexibility and comfort for extended use. It has the twin low profile conformal filters. The unique head harness will eliminate pressure points for a more comfortable fit. An advanced reflex seal for helmet compatibility and an extended chin flap for garment compatibility with JS list suits. A high flow fail safe drinking device which enables connection to a canteen or a bladder type system. The second skin hood mask interface allows the mask to integrate with the Gore Kimpak material protective hood. This provides clear communication while wearing the mask. The electronic communication port or ECP allows an audio amplifier to be safely connected in a CBRN environment to an internal microphone. Additional communication systems can be attached via this ECP using the appropriate leads. The twin filter design significantly reduces the breathing resistance and improves the weight distribution, making, a, making it a much more balanced fit. The filters can be replaced without breaking the protective seal through self-sealing valves. Conformal filter technology improves integration with equipment. This mask has been tested in multiple environments and used in combat situations and has proven itself throughout the years. Now it's been tested in laboratories against mustard, sarin, soman, and VX gas and lasts greater than 36 hours with one filter. The inhalation resistance is at 30 liters per minute. The exhalation resistance is at 85 liters per minute. So in summary, the M50 series is certified to mil spec and this mask design features improved performance against chemical and biological agents, toxic industrial chemicals, and nuclear fallout. The dual low profile filters reduce weight and bulk while reducing breathing resistance by more than 50% over the M40 series mask. The filters incorporate a shelf life indicator patch. This badge, which changes from white to blue, indicates when the filters are no longer serviceable. The mask face blank incorporates self-sealing filter mounts that allow for filter changes in contaminated environments. The single element eye lens gives the mask a 96 degree field of view and improved compatibility with military equipment and battlefield optical systems. The drinking system of the mask allows for greater liquid flow, however it is not compatible with previous drinking systems. The mask is normally issued with an M50 series compatible canteen cap. The mask was designed to incorporate state-of-the-art technologies to protect United States Armed Forces and Allied Forces from current and anticipated CBRN threats. So let's check out the mask, look at the features, and try it on. And here's the M50 gas mask. And this is a very nice mask in my opinion. 
it's comfortable to wear it fits and feels extremely good on your face for a gas mask anyway and when we look at the features we see the has a very wide range of view it's uh, 96 degrees and that gives you a very wide range of view when you don this mask and this is your connection here when you turn your, this is for your drinking tube. You can turn your drinking tube on or off, sealing it or unsealing it, basically. You see the end comes in here. And you have to have the M50 canteens for this to work with. But you see the drinking tube on the inside here. Hopefully you can see it in the video. The drinking tube, how it's out of the way right there. It's out of the way when it's in the locked position. But when I come up here and unlock it, rotate it, rotate counterclockwise, then it actually moves the tube into this position right here, right to your mouth, basically. So it rotates the tube around as you lock it here. And rotating it around puts it in a really easy position to drink out of, and then you just flip it, you flip it on, and then you flip it back off. You can see your self-sealing valves here for your inhalation, and on both sides, it is a dual fit, as we can see, or dual filters, I meant. A very nice and thick rubber seal around it, and as we see the harness here, Rotate it around, put it in the proper position to put it on in a moment. Rotate it around. But it's a very nice fit. The nose piece, it molds comfortably to your face. And for a gas mask, this is one of the more comfortable ones to wear. I like these kind or the full face shield are really good too. They're very comfortable. But if you're going to put on a breather like this, then it's, you know, this is one of the better ones on the market. But it's also one of the more expensive ones. The head harness, you have your connections here these are called your brow connections up top your brow straps and then you have right here your brow strap covers your brow straps and here you have your temple straps with your locks here temple straps and it goes back to the helmet part of the cap temple strap and your cheek straps here your cheek straps they have the ladder buckle type of lock here that you just pull to tighten and push pressure up to release um, pretty easy to put on pretty easy to put on you can change the filters without breaking the seal of the mask because of the dual filter design and the design of the self sealing inhalation valves and you have your exhalation valve here with a really low resistance it allows for very good exhalation you can attach any type of powered uh, speaking apparatus communication devices there's a lot of different designs out on the market that you can get for these these work well with uh, your SCBA, your CCBA, powered air, powered breather air attachments, self-contained, you know, breathing apparatus, things such as that. It works really well with them. And the mask overall, it's excellent value. I mean, it's a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, the price is coming down, though. That's the good thing about these. The price is coming down because of the new FM53 that's taking its place. You can't go wrong with one of these. And you see the filters here. These are the M61 filters. Uh, this is the only kind of filter that goes on these, so I can't just get you standard, standard NATO thread. You see your air passages here, air passages here for you to inhale in, a very low exhalation or inhalation resistance. Now this indicator here will be either white or blue, and as you can see from mine being blue, this tells me that this filter is out of date, that I really shouldn't use this in a dangerous environment or according to the manufacturer's specifications. But that's what that color indicates. White is good, blue is bad. Now these go on pretty easy when you put the filters on. Here you have one more thing. You have the side tabs here. These side tabs lock onto an offset lug pattern. Here you see you got an offset pattern there and there. And then you have the other one here. And if you notice your lugs inside here and here, and it's offset, so you can only get it on one way. Let's see, line up your lugs there now that it's lined up I press the filter tabs that's mainly to get it off but it does make it a little easier to get it on so you turn clockwise and you'll hear and feel it click into place and now it's locked on pretty good so let's put the other one on these always start up like that so you know and you pull the tab and you turn it clockwise counterclockwise I mean for that one and it's on now we go now we have a fully functional mask or my we know that mine my filters are expired but if they weren't then this would be a fully functional mask comes with it usually i should say if you get it it's probably going to come with its own carrying bag and these are some pretty heavy duty carrying bags they're really good at least the one i've got is here 
I like it a lot. And the mask fits in it extremely well. It's in it, and there's also a shield that comes with this carrying case that keeps the mask in place. The weight of this, the mass is not very high. I think it weighs in at about three kilograms, something to that effect. Uh, this is one of those that if you do decide to buy one, you won't go wrong with it. Just make sure that you stock up on the filters. I've seen them range. Now remember there are several different ratings also for these filters. Make sure your filters are appropriately rated, CBRN rated. So let's check it out, try it on, and see how it fits. Well, that's it for now. I hope you found the video informative and enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. And for now, Sears Survivor, out.